should have a map called merry-go-round that's actually a merry-go-round like the, the map moves yeah, and the, you, like, the players are just constantly rotating yeah. that would be insane that would actually be pretty fun so much to make that anyway uh, the microphone's back on now if you wanted to talk into it so we do have just now hot information the map is merry-go-round LA the that's choice of the Zerg player which is interesting considering this is slightly more of a Terran David map aren't they all but wait, I just realized Emperor Zerg is the Terran. Never mind. No, that makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. It's very confusing when the player... Never mind. When Emperor Zerg doesn't play Zerg. That's... His mind games haven't worked so far against his Zerg opponent, though, have they? In fact, they've only, they've only served to piss his opponent off, it looks like. Uh, yeah, severely. His opponent was just like, nah, not having this. Yeah. And uh, Leon shot him down. Uh, I've made this completely incorrectly. It's no. on free-for-all. <laughs> So let's fix that. Well, and it's also open to public. Actually, but never mind. What, surely a three player map would be perfect for a 1v1v1. That's we true, should try it, it is. We should try, we should try it. it. Let's play. Zane, yeah, let's go. You, you mouse me keyboard again. Alright, let's go. <laughs> no. We're in the middle of an important tournament. A very important tournament. Up. Very important tournament. Okay, thanks. Uh, right, so we're just going to check that both players are ready. And then we'll get into game two of this best of three. I'm going to double check that I'm actually recording, which I am. Yep, we are. I'm trying to sneak the microphone closer to us so you can actually hear us, which would be nice. Both players are ready, so we're going to get underway with game two. Hopefully, it's Nine, a bit of a long eight, one this time. Seven, six, seven, five, fourteen, four, twenty-one, three, minus three, two, one, point five, zero. Here we go, the round screen. Screen. Zane, tell me about this map. We've already seen it today, haven't we? We've seen Once. it a lot. I've, I think, I think we've only seen two maps. I think, <laughs> and Scrap Station. <laughs> we've seen Scrap Station, Merry Go Round. It's because all the other maps in the map pool are like really old. Or quite old. We're talking Siege on Station as well, actually. And okay, we're in the game. And on the left, we do have leading the series one to zero, representing Imperial College. It's Leon and HK, and also apologizing for the caps. Apologizing for the caps. Which he must do. It is rude to type in caps to your opponent. And on the right, representing Cambridge, down in the series so far, we do have the Red Terran, Emperor Zerg, the very nice Zerg, who's saying that it's no problem that his opponent used caps. And we do have uh, an SCV being rallied, so I guess we're going to have a wall. The question on my mind, on my mind is, are we going to see another CC first? I mean, he got punished for it last game. Will he go for it again? Um, well, probably not. I probably think it, not. he should learn from his mistakes. He should man up to the fact that you can't always expand early against a Zerg because sometimes they'll just bum rush you. And you should try something different. Uh -huh. I think he should get the racks down first. He should put on a little bit of pressure and then try and get his expand up. And maybe you're right. Maybe he is listening to you because that's exactly what he's doing. Well, the, what do you know? Building down, the, Putting down the barracks before the CC Barracks first build, and the Overlord is gonna uh, go straight into the main. If we look again at the o the, the scouting pattern of this, well, a very drone early drone scout. being sent out. It's very That's interesting. It looks like he's going aggressive again potentially. It's very rare that you drone scout. scout. Because, yeah, why would you do because that? Because really, like, no matter what you see with the drone, you're gonna do the same thing anyways. And look, the drone is actually gonna get there at the same time as the Overlord, regardless. Yeah, so it's a complete waste. Could we be seeing some kind of hatch block? Could we be seeing a proxy spire? Is this could a proxy be, hatch? Could we be, could we this, be seeing a... This is a proxy hatch. Is this a proxy hatch? He's going to make a proxy hatch, Zane. We're going to see a proxy hatch. All of a sudden, this seemingly mistake from Leon and HK is a brilliant, genius move. Yeah, I don't know if... Win Park! An Emperor Zerg is going to see this. He might be the Emperor of the Zergs, but is he expecting... I mean, I mean, the SCV knows something's up, but I guess he thought it was his imagine. No, it's, he's coming! He's gonna see the hatchery. What's, the, what's his response gonna be? Do, 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 he's gonna. Do, 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 I think he's gonna pull the SCV. Pull the he has to pull the SCVs. Is he gonna pull the boys? How many is he gonna pull? How many is he gonna pull? He cancels it. Why would he cancel it? There was no pressure. Well, you leave it there to mess around with your opponent and then cancel it at the last minute. Last and then you've wasted minute? loads of he mining time. He did it in the last minute. Shut up. So they take a minute to build, right? So Wait. it was kind of the last minute. But I guess it's so he, so he could put this hatchery down as soon as possible. So he wasn't he had, far behind from this true. attempt. He needed the money to expand if he would, really didn't want to. Uh, and this Reaper, he's this. he's in shock at what just happened. Now he's <laughs> now he's gonna move. <laughs> the Reaper finally getting uh, off his high horse and gonna go check out the base. 
Uh -huh. Will it get anything done? There's no queens there's, around, yeah? But there's one in production. So there's a few lings in production, which should fend off this Reaper until the queen gets out. Leon is behind in this game. But not too far. No, not too far, that's true. He's, I uh, believe he even got out with the drone, right? Maybe. Yeah. And the Reaper does get two kills, oh, oh. which is what should be, which is what's expected really of this Reaper. It escapes alive as well, just about with 10 HP, and now it's going to start regenerating its health back up to full. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like Reapers SCV. Uh, visiting the SCV in the middle. Gonna say hi. CC going down. Speed on the way. SCV's chilling here. Unlike Catalina, this map does have a vision tower. Yeah, it repla they replaced the octopus with a vision tower. That's like marginally more useful in a game of StarCraft than an octopus. Although uh, the Zonaga Tower does not have its own song. That's true, it doesn't. It should do though. Someone should get on that. Anyone out there watching? Yep. Tempo. The uh, Reaper's back in the main base of the Zerg. Uh, not attacking anything, just scouting. Getting uh, no more kills. Just it scouting, just Will it die? No, it shouldn't do. With no, good micro. Be up Excellent micro from Emperor Zerg, showing that he's master of two races, not just the Zerg. No, just he's not just the Emperor of the Zerg. He might be the Emperor, Emperor Terran. Terran. Although that, that, that title's reserved. That for username for, is taken. It's for Boxer. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on down there? What's down, going the, down there. Just the right. Oh no, you missed it. The blue. The blue oh wood. Links Blow running by. Huh? Blow the base. Here. Oh, never mind, don't worry. It's cool. Okay, the Reapers cool. scouting for the third. The <coughs> they're gonna get a small Ling run by, but they're not really gonna do much. These Marines will be able to hold, will hold that off easily. They should turn around and shoot the Lings. Yeah, I mean, those, those Marines will kill anything. That's a free, free SCV. SCV. Free commands. Why? Those Marines. are Terrans making three units this game. The Marines. Marines! The Marines are very scared. The, the, the <laughs> oh, I suppose he, he's expecting Leon and HA doing the bait. Where you send in the send in the weak units and they come down and you and come in with the roaches. yeah. Uh, but no, there's just six links. And Emperor Zug, Emperor Zug knows that no, Leon XK knows that Emperor Zug knows this, which is why he only made those units. Smart. Now he's going to kill these rocks. Uh huh. He's going to kill them. Well, everyone knows Zerg hates rocks. Like right? it's their natural enemy. Yeah. Um, Zergling speed on rocks. So the Bayonet goes down by eating the semi rocks, early. The are becoming stronger. It's like a bowl. You know, you eat and then you evolve. That's what Zergs do. Yeah. And they're, they're, there might be enough Marines. There are actually now more Marines than Zerglings. So and I finally, Emperor Zerg finds the courage to, to walk down his ramp. He did. That was very tough for him. But he uh, does leave a Marine behind just in case. The mutas come in. <laughs> and wow, transferring a lot of SCVs, actually. It's okay, because he's just going to keep pumping them in the main. Wow, um, 600 gas and no minerals for Emperor Zerg. He needs to, he needs to take his boys out of gas. If he was a Zerg, he doesn't right have now, a factory yet. If he was a Zerg, on the way. he would be really happy right now. But he's not a Zerg. As a Zerg, at this eight minute mark, you're like, I'm gonna make well, so many mutants. Some donated Zerglings. Some donated Zerglings. Still, still, still no uh, third base for our Zerg player. I'll go for the lair first. Is he gonna two base all in again? Four depot rush. For, depot for, the, for the wall. But he's not proxy. It's a very interesting depot. wall. Usually you tend to wall off at the ramp instead well, of that. The, the up thing here. is, no, no, this is an amazing meta game by Leon because he destroyed the rocks, which made it much harder for him to ramp uh, wall in the ramp. So now he's had to wall the other way because it's actually longer. Yeah, and this way is actually so complicated. I don't think I don't think anyone's ever walled off like this. It's so also not a solid wall. There's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. Oh, of course, because Emperor Zerg's never walled off like this. No one has. No one. So he, has, he doesn't have ex <laughs> he doesn't have experience with this he's, kind of he's wall. Breaking he's new trying to wall, he's trying to block it with the Marauder. The, the Marauder. <laughs> the Marauder just about fits. It's actually kind of smart because the Marauder will survive a baneling as well. I'm looking forward to the Ling runbys in this game to see how this war does play out. <laughs> so am I. See, it was a really smart play by Leon to go back and kill those rocks. So if he yeah. hadn't done that, this wouldn't have happened. You can see the Leon, uh, Leon's strategic uh, influence in this game. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He's in the mind of his opponent. Uh, right his now. spire's going down. Emperor's like still at 700 gas. He's not spending the gas on anything. Well, he doesn't. He's a Terran. He doesn't actually need gas. That's the thing. He's making another refinery he's making on his another natural refinery. because he didn't have enough gas. He's a gas fiend. I think the tech switch to battle cruisers and, is on. And he's he's he's, he's, he's oversaturating his natural with SCVs. He's only got nine on uh, eight on minerals in the main. Putting down the, the reactor, putting down the starport. The thing is, he needs that starport to get the battle cruisers, the battle which cruisers, is why yeah. he's starting Why else would you get this much gas? Now. I mean, the Zerg, yeah, the Zerg banks the gas because they have the Spire. They can, they can, they have a gas dump. They have the Mutalisk. What's but Terran going to do? Terran's got battle cruisers. Battle cruisers. That's what they're for. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't think and of any really other explanation. they're really effective against Mutalisk as well. Yeah, they are. And uh, if in equal numbers, yes. Yeah, if in equal numbers, <laughs> battle cruisers beat Mutalisk. We have, a, a known we have, we have uh, the mutual respect here. The Marine, Emperor Zerg not wanting to kill, kill the Overlord. 
Well, the Overlord knows the Marine is there and could leave at any time. So the Marine's like, I know you're there. I'm not going to move. It's I'm going to okay. get my friends to kill you instead. <laughs> and the Lynx come in and take out the Marine who doesn't... Well, to be fair, Overlords can't attack. That Overlord was just like, don't attack me because my friends will come and fuck you up. That's true. And... Those lings are now scouting the amazing wall in that he's put here. Yeah, and plugging the gap. Well, with could a this whole be could, could this be like a, a horseshoe? Like a like a uh, he could put like a layer here, but a layer another, like around here, well, that, and then this. With that marine in that gap, he could he's build. A he nice could make. Wall there. He could fill the entire of this with just buildings. But to one Break end. that. <laughs> well, you can't. If you fill it with completely buildings, then <laughs> battle cruisers will definitely win. Exactly. Especially because if your opponent's only got banelings, because they can't shoot up. Yeah, and speaking of banelings, banelings we just finished. We could be seeing this. This could be an opportunity for Leon and HK to attack. He, he sees this wall, he, he recognizes it as a challenge. He wants to know, is this wall breakable? We will find <laughs> out soon enough. I think it's broken itself. It's buckled under its own weight. But look at, look at uh, Calling all that the units. Calling that generous. And the, the mutilists come in, they're fending off. Missile turrets. And the, the reactors serving he, he, to he, he, he reacted. additional choke points in the he wall. Re he reacted to the mutilists. By reactors. putting down the reactors, <laughs> yes. yes. And he reacted to the mutants by putting a... Uh, wow, I just want to talk about how many turrets there are. Uh, how, two, can we go like, to structures? T? Uh, there are... Um, have have again, other. Yeah, he's online. <laughs> he's online. There's five turrets. Five turrets, that's useful. Um, and Leon and HK is putting, putting down his fourth base and, uh, while this is going on. I thought that was a base. Uh, it's just actually. banelings. So many banelings. So many banelings. So many banelings. It banelings. It's in a square and everything. Yeah. It actually looks like a base. Uh, Legs of the Void feature, bathing bases. Bathing bases. And they Emperor and HK when people attack sniping them. a reactor and getting out of there. Well, you see, he knew that he had two more reactors at the front, so now he has to get rid of the other reactors, otherwise he wouldn't be reacting to the reactors. Yeah, exactly. And Emperor Zerg, he's bending the gas Leon's on taking, medivacs now. Leon's taking two bases at once. Is he? Yeah. Well, this base has been up for a while. Well, actually. yeah, I know, but he only he didn't get it up. Oh, and the fight! The Zergans are fighting... Uh, there's, there's not many banelings no there. Gas. He needs to make banelings. He, yeah, he needs gas. He, he has a lot of minerals. He, need, he needs to actually make some gas. He needs to ask the uh, Emperor Zerg to borrow some of his gas. He's yeah. building the banelings right there in the uh, range of the bio, cancelling them, yeah, running away. Uh, he needs to run away a bit more because uh, at the moment the army supply is only marginally in Oh, his and he's doing, he's doing a loop de loop. The loop de loop strategy. Oh, hang on a minute. Is the wall going to get broken? Let's see. <laughs> is the wall going to get broken? <laughs> The it, drop oh coming boys, up. Oh there's no units behind. This, there's a widow mine here. There's the one widow mine gonna the, do there's the There's a Zergling to scout. The Zergling's gonna scout. The Zergling's gonna go. Okay. He's gonna see. Here? There's no army. Hang on. Where's the wall? He walks Is there past a the wall. Widow mine? No. What are these he widow walks. mines? And he's uh, said hello to a marine. And the widow mines are leaving. And then hang on a minute. Emperor Zerg, what's he doing? He's not. Sure. He's, he's indecisive. He doesn't know where to go. Is he gonna go back? Is he gonna go forward? Is he gonna stay? Leon doesn't know where he's going. Neither of these players Neither wanna players risk wanna it. Actually, hang on a minute. And oh. the engagement. Ah. Wow. He's going poorly. He needs to stop attacking those three Marines and kill the rest and of the army. And Leon HK has a huge supply lead and... That's brutal. Ah. Oh. That's um, that's Zerg right there. That is. Not Emperor Zerg, just Zerg. No, just normal Zerg. And CC being built on the low ground is gonna I be denied. I don't think he should be expanding now because yeah, he's Yeah, or dying. at least build it up here behind your turret defense, but no. Well, I mean, usually the when Zerg you're dying, Swarm you comes in, and this, this wall this proving mine, very strong. No. Oh, oh, oh and the Zerglings break the ball. He doesn't even need with uh, Banelings at all. He does not need Banelings to break that wall. No, he no, does not. That's true. I mean, we could have said that from the beginning of the game. Too. And as Leon's minerals approach 2,000, you have to wonder whether he'll throw down mana hatches. GG, well played. Well played, Leon. GG, well played. Well played, well played Emperor Zerg. Leon in HK did caps again, but did not apologize this time. No, you should apologize. We should. Yeah. You need to apologize. GG. <laughs> and we need to get him here for a winner's interview because that was a quick 2-0. That was a very quick 2-0. Leon, you need your winner's interview. Come and, come and join us. Grab this chair. Come over <laughs> to this, this microphone. You need to lean in a bit close so people can hear right. you. Right. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling alright actually. It's actually my second uh, show match played uh, like from Imperial, from Imperial yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, last time I got lost 3-0. <laughs> three, three 
Are you feeling good getting some wins this time now? Though? Yeah, I mean, that, you a bit it, was a, it, was a, it was a fun game. I was super nervous. Yeah. Is yeah, that, yeah. What, what made you choose to do the two base all in in the first game? Is it because you went fast CC? Uh, I had two uh, scouting links, and I saw a fast expand, and I saw no factory. So, I mean, I hope there was no factory, and I saw <laughs> lots of Marines. So I thought, you know, a bailing bust going old school. So I thought, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? How, how much micro does it take to be able to keep that overlord alive? Oh. That, that, <laughs> how did you do that? At that point, you were, cu you were supply blocks at 28 out of 28, and that overlord would have put you at like 18. And then uh, survived with 6 think, HP, how did I you do it? I think that was one of the mistakes we made that kind of cost in the game, because it, it would have slowed my lanes a lot. Yeah. It, it would have killed, killed you pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I, I was that looking at that overlord, I was like, what's happening? Like, <laughs> one more hit from that marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it just went back up. And you just moved yeah. it in the perfect direction, and he backed away. <laughs> That was my fight. amazing micro. You, you exploited the AI. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> so then let's talk about game two. Yeah. So um, yeah, game two went a bit longer. You, you know, yeah. you, you got out there. You, 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 you didn't get a third for quite a while. Was there a reason yeah. behind that? Because uh, I didn't see him get his second. So I thought I'm gonna, you know, muster up some army just in case he's going some kind of one base all in. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, I'm just, I'm not really sure what he's gonna do. So I'd, I'd rather play safe. When does a guy who plays Terran, whose name's Emperor Zerg, you never know what they're gonna do. No, <laughs> you, you really can't tell. Yeah. Because I saw him pick a, uh, another free, like free players map, and I, I, you know, I think that's a good map for a, for a Terran, you know, early drop yeah, or something. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It was a good Terran map, that's for sure. Yeah. And um, have you ever seen a wall like that before? No, that, <laughs> that was wall. something else, right? That, that yeah. wasn't really a wall. Well, no, we need to ask you, you know, uh, when you when you moved into his base to harass and make him lift his natural, yeah. on the way out you destroyed the rocks at the ramp. Do you think that is why he built that wall? Wow, I never thought about that. But So it wasn't intentional? You weren't like, if I destroy I, I, these I, I, rocks, he'll build know. a really bad wall and then I'll be able to kill him later on really easily? <laughs> no, I just thought you need to build one more, uh, one more bun uh, bunker or something. Well, he, he ended up building like seven more bunkers and like four... Uh, yeah, but no, no Marines were in them or something. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah it was a fun and game. one more thing. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you apologized for your capital letters. <laughs> and then at the end, you gg with capital letters, but you didn't apologize. Yeah, what's <laughs> up with that? Uh, my hockey was near the cap lock, so like, it was an accident. Okay. All right. well, Very you disrespectful. Should, you should go apologize to your opponent. Yeah. My more time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you for your Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for winning for us. And bringing <laughs> Imperial to 2 1. Yeah. yeah. You, you, I mean, you can play like friendly games. All right, we're going to go to a quick break and get the next two players in for game four of this five-game series. Yep.